Hi good people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhoda or you can call me Wayo if you like. My content is around fashion, lifestyle and everything in between. And yeah, if that is something that interests you, please um, consider hitting that subscribe button. And to you, my returning OGs, Nini no Wale Wase, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I don't take it for granted and you're appreciated. So in today's video, as you can tell from this background, I don't know if you can see, I want to show you what I'm going to carry to the hospital. And yeah, in my hospital bag, if, in case you didn't know, I am, I am pregnant. I'm almost delivering. Actually, I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to do an elective CS. For those who don't know what an elective CS is, it's an arranged cesarean section where like it's not it's not an emergency cs it's something that is planned so you go days like two or one week before your due date and that is what is going to happen that is how i give birth to my first born and that is how i'm going to do that the same thing to my second born and yeah yeah what we need to know go panga labor pains anyway that's beside the point so i thought maybe i should share what i have in my hospital bag it can help a new mom to be because at least i have uh, some experience i yeah based on i've been here before i think i have some experience on what you should carry and what yeah i think this information can help a mom out there without further rambling let me get started so i've divided the items into two baby stuff and mommy stuff now according to the hospital that you're going to deliver in some hospital offer everything for the baby and some hospitals will offer everything for the mommy or both i don't know but where i am going they offer everything for the mommy but you have to bring stuff for the baby so i think that's it the baby stuff is a lot You'll notice that it's a lot as compared to my stuff. Yeah, so let me just start with the baby stuff, whatever is packed in the bag. Let me just put the bag here so that I can just be popping them back inside. This is my bag of choice. That's it. Right. Looks nothing too fancy because Najijua. Like I don't, I, I'm so sure that I'll not be using this bag a lot. So I just got something functional and all that. I didn't really quite invest in it. So the bag comes with a Macintosh, which is good for changing the baby. So that is the first thing that will go into the bag. I don't know what order I should go in. So these things are just, they are all over the place. Anyway, let me just start with what is on top here. Um, in terms of outfit, I'll be there for three, three nights, I think, four days. Four days, three nights, something of the sort, yeah. I'll be there for three days yeah so you have to carry like an outfit for each day so this is my first outfit <laughs> how adorable is this like just look at this my god Aki kids they have like the most adorable clothes ever so this is like a suit and that's how it looks it comes with a pair of mittens so that is the outfit number one and then I have another suit that looks like this like how cute is this okay baby's clothes are so adorable and cute and they look so nice same design just like a socks this one has a lot of things there's that there's a what do you call this there's a bib um which comes with a kakofia tell me this is not the cutest hat that you've ever seen then it has a mitten it's a pair of mittens sorry and then what else I have this kakofia like how adorable is this thing <laughs> wow isn't this the cutest thing that you've ever seen that's how it looks and it comes with a scarf of which i know i'm not even going not going to wear this he's not going to use this scarf for the time being maybe later but yeah that's how that kakofia looks it's so adorable that i love it and have you noticed that i'm forcing yellow on my child <laughs> then of course um I have vest, vest are a must. I've carried three, one for each day. In case that I'll need more, I'll just request and I think I'll be brought for in the hospital. But for starters, I just carried three. That's how they look. And then I have, for the clothes, I carried extra because you never know if you need extra or not. So I have the onesies. These are how they look. Like baby's clothes are so adorable and so tiny. <laughs> 
like how can a human being fit in such clothes i just love this this one so i carried three onesies that's how they look this one it's i don't know if you can see clearly but it has like two stars that's how it looks as well and then i have this one it's written heartbreaker it's written heartbreaker that's the print on it it's also a onesie i find like onesies are easier to put and i don't know they just work for me so i carried three of those and then of course i have a, a liner just to wipe the baby in case that they need wiping i have a washcloth again forcing yellow on my child but it's hard to until they know how to make their life decisions they'll have to work by <laughs> they'll have to accept whatever i give them anyway a washcloth i have extra coffee these ones are the ones that have i'm not sure you can see it has socks and mittens inside I haven't opened it because i'm not even sure that i'll use it and then another coffee just in case again yellow and then extra pairs of mittens one two these ones how just plain old ones they, nothing too fancy and then i have flannel sheets um they are quite they're quite long but i don't want to unsure them but this is how they look this is the print on the first one i carry three again one for each day and then there's another one a yellow one and then there's this color so these ones are they kind of look the same but different colors so that's three of them those are called flannel sheets you line you line your blankets inside with them so that the baby can be comfortable so it's preferably that you get cotton flannel sheets and then i have this warm and soft and fuzzy blanket like i don't know do they even they should start making such blankets for big people big babies like me i would buy <laughs> like it's so soft and and you just feel like you want to snuggle and cuddle and it's just so nice so i've carried this and by now i know you can know the gender of the baby it's baby boy <laughs> so yeah so I'm carrying this. It's quite heavy. So I'll just carry one again in case I need another one. It'll let you to hospital. So that's not an issue. Then I have good old towel for the baby. This is how it looks. That's how it looks. Nothing too fancy. So a towel. And in terms of clothing, in terms of clothing, I think that's all that I'm going to carry. So we move next to the products. This one. Mm. This is the zinc and castor oil cream for the balm. On a jawato to chomeka na diapers. So this one worked for Leica. This is what I use for Leica, and a little goes a long way. So this is what I'm still going to use. It worked for Leica, so I'm assuming it will work for the brother. So that's it. Then this is also the same soap that I used for Leica. It's Dettol. Although I know the first days the baby does not necessarily take a shower when upon guzango but i'm just carrying it just in case so it's this one dental the natural glycerin this one worked like i used this to date by the way and then I've, i also use this with Leica. i know there's a lot of controversy behind johnson's da, 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 da. but me say i always say whatever works for you do you this one worked for Leica. there are no problems so i'm going to use this i i for her i used this one and a remis. So I might, uh, at some point, I think I'll have to get a remis as well for the baby. Then there's cotton wool for me and the baby. Of course, wiping the baby the first days, you need to have this cotton wool. And then I have diapers. This is a brand that I've decided to go with. It's Huggies Newborn. I know at some point I'll change the brand. Because I also started like with this and then along the way I changed. So yeah, that's what I went for. This is the new one. That's I'm just going to carry one pack. Then I have wipes. These are huggies. Basically, most of the things that I'm using are things that work for my daughter. So I didn't see the need to change. So that's why I'm saying I'm using that. And this one is 99% pure water. Pure water. That's how it looks. 
um yeah and i think oh yeah no there's something else you can see over there um extra pairs of socks you know it's like i was put them like this these are the look just good hold socks three pairs those are just extras just in case and i think i'm done in, in terms of the baby stuff i'm done so let me move to the mommy stuff so for the for the mommy stuff you'll notice that um they're not quite a lot there are a few but um they just told me that you just need to carry your toiletries <coughs> your toiletries just to be yeah because most of the things will be provided for in the hospital this is water most of the things will be provided for in the hospital so there's no need to need them so the first thing that i'm carrying that this i'm not sure you can see they're disposable breast pads in case i get a lot of milk because especially by the second day i was leaking so i got this one the disposable ones from mom easy is it called mom easy or mama mods yeah these ones are the ones that i got they are 24 pieces i think they should be enough at least for the hospital stay so i got breast breast they're called breast what breast pads then of course you don't forget your toothbrush toothbrush is a must anywhere that, anywhere that you go so this is my toothbrush and this toothbrush holder i got it from house of leather it is just for it goes for 100 bucks so if in, in case you need one i think everybody needs one because one it helps you carry your toothbrush without exposing it to germs and everything so i think it's a good thing and it's small and it's compatible so this one is for my toothbrush of course toothpaste you don't want to carry toothbrush and just find yourself that you don't have toothpaste and shower gel i'm just carrying in case akuna sabuni but i doubt <laughs> sabuni but it's good to be safe so i'm just carrying the, the nivea one sorry just carrying the nivea because it's small and compact um let me just finish it i'm a nivea girl baby these people should just sponsor me everything everything that i use is nivea anyway i'm carrying my cleanser this is the perfect and radiant even tone three in one cleanser this is what i use works best for me then i use the from the same line perfect and radiant this is the night cream and perfect and radiant day cream and then of course what is it called sunscreen so i don't intend on wearing any makeup when i'm there because again tato your time wapi tato your time wapi vera anyway anyway this is what i'm going to carry this is what i'm going to be using this is just my skin my simple skincare routine it works for me can you see my skin guys you see my skin guys my skin has really been loving this nivea products and i believe less is more so honestly this is all i use on my skin these four products nothing else so yeah that's what i'll be carrying of course i know someone will be wondering why are you carrying sunscreen and you'll be indoors the whole time you apply sunscreen all the time whether you are indoors outdoors wherever you are sunscreen is a must every single day and i would highly recommend these ones from nivea so yeah that one is also an essential um this is my mafuta of choice it's the jelly in cream by nice and lovely recently discovered it if you've watched my previous vlog i think i talked about it it's quite nice moisturizing and i love that it's small and compact so see i don't have see have kube banana lotion and all that stuff but i really 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 love this this is how it looks and then of course good hold lip balm you don't want sharp lips you don't want your lips looking all dry and crusty so don't forget her lip balm this is just a small unbag lotion from dove small nini i was i was trying to look for things that do not have like um a strong scent because you know babies and scents don't go together anyway i carry that lotion just in case i'm going to carry that just in case and then of course you can never forget deodorant dio 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 you have to carry your alone you have to carry whatever antiperspirant whatever you use but just make sure that it's not too strong it's not the projection is not too strong because you know jua what auto smells we all know that you have to keep it at the minimum because 
they are delicate so this is what it's the dry comfort from Nivea again the scent is not in your face so that's a good thing so that's what I'll be wearing again then this is a shower cup but an evil way I see how he looks like I just picked it from the supermarket I just hope the quality is not bad because it was hella cheap not bad so it looks but will this reach my head and then my head has a lot of ah, actually it's not it's not it's not bad I love the quality I got it from Naivas but then in case you're interested and it was like 60 bob so that's a good thing then I have my bonnet for sleeping because you need something to cover them up they said we go with a pair of slippers so this is what I got just simple good hold slippers and then I have I have my what do you call them I have my panties grandma panties to be precise I have my panties uh, preferably dark colors because you know you have to bleed this is the part that we don't talk about you have to bleed after you give birth so you need panties comfortable panties especially for someone like me who's going to have a c-section i love i won't like on my bikini area so you need something that is comfortable around that nothing tight nothing in it so grandma panties i've packed a couple of those the next thing that you must carry they are nursing bras not your normal bras your nursing bras and let me show you maybe someone does not know how a nursing bra looks like something like this they don't come with tumors because the the um the idea is for them to be as comfortable as possible so it's something that you unclip from here then your kabo comes from here then you clip it back you don't want in the hospital your boobs to be all over they are leaking they are ninin as in and this one is quite quite comfortable so get yourself one i got mine these ones i got from Navas, and they're going for like 495 seven to 500 bob for one which i think it's a good price and it's good quality so if you're looking for a good nursing bra check Navas. i got mine from Navas, so i think i'll be carrying like three of them and then you should get a size bigger because you know boobs boobs are because it's a good so it's a so I would advise you get a size bigger so that they can fit nicely, in my opinion. I love when you a, what are these called? A face towel. And then for me, I also have this one. Make sure you can see. Yeah, this one. It's um, nipple cream. Let me just take it out. Nipple cream. That's how it looks. This one is from Lancino nipple cream nipple cream nipple cream if anything after eriwache everything from if you're a new mom eriwache any everything in this <laughs> things that i've shown you but usiache nipple cream yeah me rekegwere hey my firstborn i gave back kitambo 2015 manzi me atta nipple cream i didn't know if there was anything like that but let me tell you my nipples were so so nikapata vidonda aki um mtoto alikuwa ananyonya i used to cry tears i real tears zinatoka kwa machozi yani that is the most painful shit that i've ever gone through i'm not sure i'm supposed to say that on instagram but that is the most painful thing that i've ever gone through so please just invest in a very good nipple cream you are playing from day one the good thing about this one you it helps to soothe and protect so cracked nipples and dry skin there's no need to remove before breastfeeding so the baby can it's it's very what do you call it's okay for the baby to breastfeed when the, the when the cream is there because it's 100 percent natural and hypoallergenic that's what they say so it's safe for the baby to breastfeed even when you've put it on so mimi kosipendi uchungu na napenda kwa prepared i've already started applying mine <laughs> like i started like three days ago just three days before even before i go to the hospital and just start like pulling pulling your nipples out so that you can be ready for the baby to breastfeed but that's me that's me i just like being ready and i don't like pain me spend you too at all i'm a baby girl anyway <laughs> the other thing that you should not forget which is like the most most important that i also advise maybe you can put in your purse in advance 
it number one of course your medical card i don't want to turn it because it's private information then in your nhf card because you know nhf pays for part of the bill was it your personality bure and not use your nhf card so they pay for the bed only but it's something utilize that contribution that you've been contributing for over 10 years and you've never used your card so yeah don't forget your nhf card don't forget your national id those are important documents when you're going to the hospital please utilize your nhf card as in umeli pesa mingi because of your card and then of course if you are on insurance don't forget your insurance card and then don't also forget the baby the clinic book for the baby yeah just yeah don't forget your medical documents and anything anything medical that the doctors that you find might want to know so i would advise you get that this is how here what else have i forgotten don't forget your charger and don't forget your earphones airpods or ear what are they called airpods or uh, earpods for, for those who don't use iphone or whatever you use just to listen to music or to watch something in case you get bored so don't forget your earphones and all that don't forget your charger what else am i forgetting so for me for the mom's things that's why you've seen like i don't have things like um disposable panties and the maternity nini they said they said that they'll provide enough in the hospital so i'm not worried about that so these are just the things that i think i will need and maybe they may not be available in the hospital oh sorry i need to for me i need to carry an extra dress for when you're discharged from the hospital you need I'm running out of breath, guys. I'm running out of breath. Anyway, he should be in Asia soon. Uh, I'll I'll be sure to add a, a dress that is easy to breastfeed and free, something that is not nice for when to wear when I'm coming from the hospital. Because the whole time I'll be in the hospital, I'll be in an hospital girl. He only standard. We all know that. I don't think there's anything else that I'm missing. I hope there's nothing else that I'm missing because, as I said, I'm going to the hospital tomorrow. So I'm just packing everything. It was, it was already packed by the day. I've just removed it to show you guys. So I'm packing it back so that I can be ready for that. Yeah, and hope for the best. You guys cannot help me because by the time you watch this, the baby will already be here, inshallah. God willing. So, yeah. That's all from me today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope if you're a new mom, you've learned a thing or two. Or if Atakama, you're not a new mom, I'm an aspiring mom, at least you know what to carry when that time comes for you, when you're ready and when God is ready to bless you with a child. And yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for always coming back. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Let's grow this channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And yeah, comment, like, share with your friends share with anyone who you think will need this information and let's interact in the comment section below that's it bye take care of yourself and see you in the next one bye